with so many international organizations out there, it's important that one can differentiate between the different types. So how can you tell the difference between supranational and intergovernmental organizations? This mini lesson focuses specifically on a subtype of international organizations, namely intergovernmental organizations. These IGOs are formed when member states agree to work together to tackle regional or global governance issues. Members are therefore states, not corporations or civil society organizations. There are two main types of IGOs, supranational and intergovernmental. Intergovernmental is the most common form in which states work together as equals within the organization. This is preferable for states because they do not lose any sovereignty, but it also means that it can be harder to agree upon how to best govern issues that transcend states' borders. A supranational organization is one that stands above the states and has the authority to govern the member states. This makes it a powerful type of IGO but it also means that members have agreed to sacrificing some of their sovereignty. So both supranational and intergovernmental organizations are formed by member states, aimed at dealing with global issues through cooperation at the international level. The key difference is the amount of power or sovereignty that the states give up in exchange for members. Hope you took notes because now it's your turn to see if you can determine what type these well-known IGOs are by applying the criteria you just learned. Is it intergovernmental? Can states refuse to comply? Or does the organization hold supranational authority over its member states, enabling it to enforce decisions made? Like this video. Subscribe for more lessons by Miss Mars.